Well, with fall season knocking on the door, that also means Ohio Volleyball is getting ready to get things underway in 2018. And this is going to be a pretty, pretty good team. And we hope, too, that you as Bobcat Nation are very excited to get things rolling. And obviously, I'm joined by uh, with fifth-year head coach Dean Webb. And, and coach, our fifth time doing this together. It's, a, it's been a wild ride and uh, with, with you. And the one thing I want to ask right away, I mean, uh, use the word merging when you and I first talked to, to open up fall camp. and. It's kind of weird too because normally you've seen your team about a week and a half by now, but things are a little different. You haven't really seen your team much, but uh, so far, I mean, since fall camp, what have you seen from your team so far? Well, it is early and we are just now, this is day four of preseason uh, with our green and white scrimmage coming very quickly in just three days of practice. And then we go out and we did our scrimmage. It was great to get out and see our kids compete, get out in front of our, our home fans. Um, and then had a couple of days off. We had our, our retreat that our, our team both earned and, and then enjoyed. Uh, which was great and then now it's about just making those improvements so I think we've been we've been encouraged by the potential that we have this year but we know we have a great deal of work to, to do to achieve that potential. How are you guys looking at merging some of the a lot of the injured athletes I mean you maybe Gigi has a really hit um, hit by that injury bug last year but a lot of those girls that had to step up they did I mean I thought you guys had a great uh, max season so how are you looking to, to merge those two together I, I know they're all probably really excited to, to finally share the court and be yeah, sure they, they all uh, I think they all approach their injury, you know, a little differently. They all go out at maybe different speeds and different intensities. But we're at this place now where three kids that were out with ACLs are all back and all performing, all contributing, all fully cleared, all those things. And so now it's more, we have more pieces that we need to think about. How, how do we use each of their strengths to best help our program, help them be the best version of themselves? Um, but I, it's, still, it's still a little early to really know how that's all going to play out. Um, but I, we see significant possibility and potential in each one of those players. And uh, kind of going deeper into that, you mentioned a lot of the girls getting all that experience last year on the floor, getting those girls that were coming off injuries together. Do you think maybe this is your most experienced squad that you've had in your four previous years? And nothing to disrespect the teams before right. you, but I was just, just kind of curious about that. Yeah, I think we had, we had really experienced groups in 2014 and 2015. Uh, we graduated a great deal, so a really inexperienced group in, in 2016. Um, but, but I think this year, I don't know if, I, in some ways you could say it's our most experienced because we, we return all the starters for, from what was the end of last year's season. But then we also, it's almost like more experienced than that because we have all these players that, that had been starters before and then came back. So we almost have, well not almost, we definitely have more starters returning than we have positions for starters. And so in some ways you could definitely say it's incredibly experienced. but. At the same time, the 2014 and 2015 group, those were multi-year starters at a lot of those positions. And then, too, um, obviously you guys knew you are going to have a, a pretty talented squad after non-conference. You guys loaded up your schedule pretty well. I mean, what are you guys, what are you looking forward to the most, I should say, about this upcoming non-conference schedule and, of course, MAC play? Well, I mean, bluntly, we're just looking forward to finding out if we're as good as we think we can be. And we, we did load up the schedule, and we're either going to be really good or the guy that made the schedule is going to look really dumb. And I'm willing to take that risk every time. I mean, that's just one of the things that we tell people when we recruit them here is if you come here, you're going to play top level competition. And we're going to go play the Ohio States and A&Ms and Nebraska's and Missouri's and all those. So that's something we, we feel is important for our kids to be able to go out and be challenged and improve. And then lastly, you, you have a lot of fresh new faces on this squad too. And what have you seen from them? I know it's early and I, and I keep saying that, but uh, what have you been able to see from them? And how talented are they? Who, who are they? What can we right. not expect much from their freshman year? But I think it's, a, it's an interesting mix. I mean, there are a few kids that are still kind of in the early learning stages of what it means to compete at this level and whoa, that ball comes in a hurry, the serve and all those things. I mean, I think we have, we have two kids that are physically ready. I mean, I think Kira and Lauren are physically ready. Whether they will contribute or not, I don't know yet. We'll wait and see what happens over the next week and a half. I think Isla's probably ready from a skill standpoint, just needs to be a little more physical. Um, and that just takes time, being in the college weight room and all that. Um, so we'll see. With, with Lauren and Kira, they, they both have done some things that are encouraging. But again, it's about getting the consistency that we need at the collegiate level. All right, Coach. It's been a great talk. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. As always, looking forward to uh, this upcoming Saturday, actually. Uh, the Bobcats will host Pitt. And Pitt just recently uh, top 20 uh, in the nation right now. And also the 24th and 25th, Ohio will actually pay a visit to Ohio State and play Texas A&M, Ohio State, and also Albany. So we'll have coverage with that on Bobcat TV. And from Athens with Love, my name is Jay Kermada. This is Bobcat TV.